Hey guys, just in the shop this, today working on Project NASCART. I've done a quite a bit of fabricating work in the last couple days on it and I figured it was time to take the camera out and do a little update video on what I got going on here. As you can see, I got the hood all bent up. Uh, the old hood was so bent up that and banged up and been hit by so many things, it was beyond repair. So it was easier to just start over. So I used a sheet of 18 gauge I uh, made a cardboard pattern of the old hood, laid it on top of the 18 gauge, traced it all out, cut it out, and then I bent it around two inch exhaust tubing to create this radius bend here. I just clamped my exhaust tubing right to the sheet and then bent, bent it around it. And it worked pretty good. Uh, I got a nice big radius bend on there. Should work out nice. This thing in the middle kind of looks like a hood scoop, but that's not what I'm trying to replicate here. Uh, I'm trying to kind of do a hood like off of a Jeep, like off a of CJ or something, or off of like a Willys wagon. Um, but the Jeep hood's always kind of stepped up a little bit from the fenders. And what I have to work with here is, you know, being such a sharp angle and stuff, I kind of decided to do, go with this. So this is going to be kind of the hood. That's kind of the fenders. And I'm going to make a stainless insert in here that my headlights will be mounted into. And I'll probably do some bead rolling kind of duplicate the, the grill openings of like a CJ5 or 7 or any of the CJs. Kind of have that uh, split up look on the grill. So I'm going to try and do that. Trenton was painting the chassis this morning with Pour 15. He went through the wire brush, brushed off all the big stuff, and then uh, went in there with Pour 15 and painted that on there. Um, going to see a lot of this suspension and stuff on the cart, so I kind of wanted it to look somewhat decent. Uh, we got a pretty crazy color picked out for it and it's going to have a lot of metal flake in it so it's going to be loud and proud. Uh, I've been working on the, today I did the hood a couple days ago, today I've been working on my tubing that's going around the fenders and I kind of explained in another video that I was going to do all this tubing all the way around the cart. I have the other side just about complete so we'll walk over there in a second but I'm working on this side right now and what I did was I brought some tubing to a shop and had them roll it the hard way, they call it. So it's inch and a half by three quarter tubing, 14 gauge. And they made me six of these, six identical pieces. So I've been just making marks wherever I need to cut it at to go around my wheel wells. And then where I transfer from my wheel well, so like right now, this is still long. I still got to come up with a point where I'm going to cut this because then I'm going to go across here kind of switch directions with it. But so down here, I've been using some of the rolled tubing, but I've been making these cuts in it. It's tedious and it's gonna even be more tedious to weld all this together and I'm not looking forward to it. But I had to do a tighter radius at this point at the bottom to go into this rocker panel basically. And then go back to here to the rear fender, less cuts to create that uphill to go up and around the fender then. And I've had to cut, you know, in a few spots and splice in whatever I need for tubing, but I'm really kind of liking the look of it. And that'll be all painted the same color as the cart. There's a seam here and here so that the hood, the whole front assembly will still be removable. And so will the back fenders will be removable. Because what I plan on doing is plug welding all these on. I'll paint weldable primer on the back side of the tubing after I sand them. And then I'm going to plug weld them on, so they're going to be a permanent part of it. Uh, I could screw them on. I could do, a, I mean, multiple different ways. But I've chosen I'm going to plug weld them on so that they're a permanent part of each section of the cart then. Back here, I'll be putting the, I'll get new ones, rubber fenders that go on back here. So that will just join into the rubber fender right here. And he did some more pour 15 painting back here. But that's where I am on this side now. The other side's pretty much a wrap, other than taking them all back off, sanding them, welding everything, painting them, and then plug welding them back on. So I got a, quite a few hours ahead of me here yet. I'll show you the box. It's upside down right now, but I did make an aluminum box for the back. I did talk about we're gonna make an aluminum utility box for the back of it. But I got it laying upside down right now. Uh, I didn't think ahead here. But here's a little tailgate on it. Got aluminum piano hinge I welded to it too. So yeah, that's the box. Next time you see that, it'll be mounted on the cart. 
you'll be able to see it a lot better. So I'm going to go back to working on this one side over here. And my next video, all that will be done. And I'll probably have it in primer. Um, I'm not going to do an extensive amount of body work to it. I did a lot of hammer and dolly work this morning. And I got most of the big dents out. <clears throat> and I've decided to, from creating a lot of dust in my shop, <coughs> excuse me, instead of creating a lot of Bondo dust in the shop, I'm just going to sand it down, pound out a couple more dents, and paint it the way it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment and sub. Thanks.